Hello, 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 and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on how to properly read and write decimals. But before you begin this lesson, you should make sure that you're comfortable with reading and writing whole numbers properly and with decimal place values. So make sure you understand these and let's get started. So before we get into the real heart of this lesson, you should definitely make sure that you have a great understanding of the following things. Decimal points. Remember that a decimal point is very, very important because it separates whole numbers from decimals. Whole numbers represent complete numbers of whole items. For example, uh, 10 stars or 20 apples, not 0.5 apples and not 0.25 stars. They are complete whole items. And decimal place values represent pieces of an item. And it's not even one whole. It's actually less than that. It's a piece of the whole. And please, please, please remember, when dealing with decimal place values, decimal place values always end with the letters THS. A ton of my students think that the THS doesn't really matter, but trust me, it's very, very important. Because the THS is what separates a place value from being a whole number place value and a decimal place value. So let's say that we have the decimal 0 0.1. Now keep in mind when I say 0 0.1, the reason why I read it like that is because A, it's a lot faster than the proper way, and the second is because a majority of people in the world will say it using the decimal point, for example, 0 0.1. But that's not the proper way to read a decimal, and it doesn't indicate what the decimal says. Let's take a look at how to properly read this. There are two steps when it comes to properly reading decimals. The first step is to read the entire number to the right of the decimal. And the second step is to read the place value at the end of that number. So why don't we just start off with putting the place values that are here. We've got our ones place, our decimal point, of course, and the tens place. So step one is to read the entire number to the right of the decimal point. So the first thing we're looking for is that number. What's the number to the right of the decimal? Well, here's our decimal. And what number is that? This is just the number 1. So we'll put 1 here. And then we'll go to step 2, which is to read the place value at the end of that number. And we'll put that over here, the last place value. We said the number was 1. And the last place value here is what? Well, that's just the tenths place. So our last place value is the tenths place. And we put these two together to read the decimal properly. So 0 0.1 is properly read as 1 tenth because the number is 1 and the last place value is the tenth place. So together, that's 1 tenth. So here's another example. But don't be fooled, the two step process is still exactly the same. And that's the thing with math. That's the beauty of it. If you know how to do one example completely properly and the reason for why it's being done, you're going to get every single question correct. So let's do the same exact thing that we did in the last example for this one. Starting with step one, we're going to read the entire number to the right of the decimal. And I want to be very clear. The step says the entire number. So that means this whole thing together. So here's our decimal point. And what's the number to the right of the decimal? All together, these three digits just form the number 9. The zeros that are in front of the 9 are just placeholders. And now we'll go to step 2, which is to read the place value at the end of the number. And we'll put that here, the last place value. So what's the last place value you see at the end of this number? Well, that's the thousandths place. So we'll put thousands. And to properly read this decimal, we'll put the two things together, the number and the last place value. So how would we properly read this? Well, if you put together the number and the last place value, that's properly read as nine thousandths. Because nine is our number here, and our last place value is the thousandths place. Nine thousandths. So how about this example? 0 
how would we properly read this decimal? Again, we'll just follow the two-step process, starting with step one. Let's read the entire number to the right of the decimal. Here's our decimal, and this number here to the right of it, what's that number? Well, altogether, these digits form the number 53. And now we'll go to step two, which is to read the place value at the end of that number. So what's the very last place value at the end of the number? What place value do you see there? Well, that's the thousands place, and we'll put that here. So in order to properly read this decimal, we have to put these two things together, the number and the last place value. So how would we properly read this? That would be 53 thousands, because the number here is 53, and the last place value is the thousands place, and that's 53 thousands. Okay, so this example is a little bit trickier. And the reason why it's a little bit trickier is because we not only have decimal place values, but we also have a whole number place value to the left of the decimal. But that doesn't really affect much. Here's what I mean. All we have to do, because we have place values to the left of the decimal, is we just need to read the whole number here, and then the decimal point is represented by the word and. Here's what I mean. What number do you see to the left of the decimal? Well, that's the number 4, and we'll write that. The decimal point is going to be read using the word AND, so we'll put that. And now we'll just go to our two-step process to read our decimal place values, and put that at the end, and that makes our number all together. So let's start with step 1. We're going to read the entire number to the right of the decimal. What number do you see here? Well, altogether, these numbers form 1,007. And now step two is just to read the last place value. So what's our last place value here? Well, that's the 10 thousandths place, and we'll put that here. So in order to properly read the decimal part, we need to make sure that we just put these two together. So that's going to be 1,007 10 thousandths, because the number is 1,007, and the last place value here is the 10 thousandths place. But don't forget the number at the beginning. This whole thing is the number we're talking about. So the entire thing altogether is read as 4 and 1,007 10 thousandths. Here's another tricky example, but we're going to do it just like the last one. What's the number that we see to the left of the decimal? Well, this number here is just 8 and we'll write that. And remember, in order to indicate that there's a decimal here, whenever we have a number to the left, we have to use the word AND to represent this decimal point. So we'll make sure that we write that. So, so far we have 8 AND whatever this stuff is. And in order to read this stuff to the right of the decimal, we're going to use the two-step process, the same as we've been doing. The first thing is to read the entire number that's here. And that number is 502. And the second step is to read the last place value, which is right here. And that's the hundred thousandths place. And to read the decimal properly, we need to put the number and the last place value together. So we'll do that. And it's a lot, but it's correct. That would be 502 hundred thousandths. Again, that's 502 because that's the number here hundred thousandths, because that's our last place value. And remember, don't forget this number over here. So all together, this entire number is eight and 502 hundred thousandths. In all of the other examples we've done, we've had some decimal, and we've converted that decimal into its word form. But what about if we start with the word form and we're asked to write a decimal? So here's an example. Let's say we have 5 and 95 hundredths. How would we write that as a decimal? Well, we have three separate parts. We have the whole number here, 5, the word AND, which tells us that this is a whole number because AND represents the actual decimal point, and 95 hundredths. So let's write these down. 
starting with the 5, and represents the decimal point, and 95 hundredths is going to be 0.95. And if we put in our place values, we see that that's correct. The 5 is to the left of the decimal because it's our whole number. The and is represented by the decimal point, and the 95 hundredths is correct because it's the number 95, and the last place value is the hundredths place. So this is correct, 5.95, or properly read as 5 and 95 hundredths. How about this example? 17 thousandths. Well, there's no whole number, and there's no word and, so we can actually start by writing the number 17. And we just have to make sure that 17 has the last place value in the thousands place. So let's show these place values. We've got 17, thousands, and we made sure that the last place value, the 7, is under the thousands place. So now everything else we can just fill in. So the first thing we can do is place the decimal point right here. The ones, there's nothing there, so the number that represents nothing is zero. And for the tens place, we have to put a placeholder there, and so we're going to put a zero. So as a decimal, 17 thousandths is 0 0.017. And we know that's correct, because the number we read is 17, which is here, and the last place value is the thousandths place, which is here, making 17 thousandths. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button and when you're done, unpause the video and followed by a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answers will be displayed. Ready, set, go. Okay, so let's take a look at our answers. Number one is eight and nine hundred fifty one thousandths. Number two is twelve and eighty three hundredths. Number three is one thousand forty nine ten thousandths. Number four is thirty three hundredths. Number five is twenty two thousand two hundred twenty two hundred thousandths. That one was incredibly difficult. Number six is 3.14. Number seven is 0 0.3045. Number eight is 0 0.0005. Number nine is 7.215. And number 10 is 0 0.8. So what did we learn from this lesson? The blank is important because it separates whole numbers from decimal place values. Well, that's the decimal point. When a decimal is in a number, values less than one are represented by decimal place values. They're not even one whole, they're just pieces. Decimal place values are to the blank of the decimal point. Well, they're located to the right of the decimal point. Every decimal place value ends with the letters THS. Starting from the decimal point, the decimal place values are the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place, and the ten thousandths place. Of course, there are more places, but I doubt you'll see more than the 10 thousandths place. There are how many steps to reading decimals? Well, there's two. The first step is to read the entire number to the right of the decimal. And I want to stress this, entire number, the whole thing, not the first number you see there, not the last number you see there, the entire number together. And the second step is to read the final place value at the end of that number. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. 
Don't just pass math, ace it.